In this video, I'm gonna make a normal drawing turn into reality. These are the episodes where I find a simple drawings on Google and try to make them extremely realistic. I love these episodes because it's just awesome to see something very simple turn into something amazing. This episode was my favorite so far. I found this samurai picture and the end result is actually amazing. I really like it and I really hope you like it too. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. So first I dropped the samurai picture, there we go. I found this samurai hat, I don't know if it has a name, uh, but I'm just gonna call it hat. I warped it to match the drawing and I dropped this belt, warp again, there we go. I made the simple shape for the hands and I dropped this boots. Let's drop it for another leg. I have to stretch it to match the drawing, I just duplicate it and erase the bottom part. Some warping here and there to match the shape. Same thing on the other leg, make it wider, there we go, erase the bottom part. I made the simple shape for the legs too, exactly the same thing on the vest. It's probably gonna stay red because I think it's gonna look awesome. Same thing on the shirt inside. Let's make it a little darker so we can see it better. I dropped this arrow holder. I'm just gonna remove the arrows because I want to add my own later. I made the shape for the sword. I dropped the katana for the bottom part. There we go, I think it's gonna look pretty good on this one. Then I drop this normal face temporarily, I'm just gonna add the mask instead of the face anyways. After that I drop this scarf, match the shape, there we go. I change the color of the scarf to the black, there we go, a bit more dark. Then I found this mask, I think it's gonna look pretty cool on the face. There we go, oh yeah, it does look cool. Then I drew a simple ground and I added the light source so I can tell where to add the highlights. After that I dropped the normal shirt, clipped it to the object. There we go, it needs some warping. I also dropped this cape or whatever that is for the red parts. I masked out this part and clipped it on the object. There we go, it just needs a bit warping and it's gonna look pretty good. Same thing on the other one, just warp it and then clip it. I also cut the middle part from the same thing and I dropped it on the cape. I warped it and clipped it to the object. This is gonna be red, I changed the color with hue and saturation, there we go. The middle shirt is gonna be probably black. I'm gonna make the belts white and it looks very good. After that I started to add this ambient shadows. I'm just using exposure with very low flow. I added the background, it's gonna be a night scene by the way, and I dropped this pants. I matched it to the legs one by one. Now we need some warping, I used the puppet warp, I think it was the best choice because it was so easy to match the shape. I added some more shadows on the pants. After that I dropped this picture of a bandage, I cut it out and dropped it on the hand. Same thing, I'm gonna use the puppet warp here. Just duplicated the same thing on the other hand. Then I dropped the picture of the hand. I warped it to match the shape. And I dropped this texture for the sword. After that I started to add more deeper and black shadows. There we go, it looks nice.
Then I dropped the moon as my light source. I dropped this clouds. Erase the bottom part because I don't need it. I merged the moon in the clouds and I started to add the highlights. So we're gonna have the highlights on behind and on the right side. I made a simple shadow and I dropped this picture on the background. I made it blue to match the night scene and I removed the sky. Then I added the simple mountain with just a shape. I just removed the bottom part and I started to add more buildings in the background. There we go, this one goes here. Let's make it a tad bigger on the left side. I want this one to be the biggest and in the middle. I made it more darker with the levels. I also made it blue so it matches the background and the night scene. I duplicated the same effects to the other buildings. I just added the fog in the middle so you can feel the distance. And then I started to add the highlights. Highlights here shouldn't be too vibrant. After the highlights I drop these trees. I think the red is gonna look awesome here. I thought it would be cool to have some more lights in the composition, so I lit up these lamps. As I always do, just a simple solid color. And I started to add the highlights. There will be some more highlights on the ground probably. There shouldn't be too much highlights from these lamps because they are not shining that much. I think it is enough. Then I duplicate it and I flip the background because I want to make this water reflections on the ground. After that you just move some blend if options and it is looking like a water. After that I change some things up and I start to add the camera roll filters. After I change everything in the camera roll filters this is the final result. I mean I love making these episodes but this one has to be my favorite, like the coolest one I've done so far. I worked so much on the character but the background here is the killer, I love the background. I love the backgrounds from my previous episodes but they are too simple. This one probably took 10 times more than the other episodes. Overall I think it's a win. If you liked the video and want to see more stuff like this definitely like, subscribe, it just gives me so much motivation. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did and I really hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.